Hey guys, welcome to Corn Decale. I'm Ashley, that's Sasha. Um, we are sitting down today. Yes, we are. Because I realized the other day that we've been gardening in our house for about a year now. And I wanted to kind of sit down, go through the old photos and see just what we've been able to accomplish in the past year. If you guys have enjoyed my videos um, and enjoy watching transformations of the garden, please subscribe and like the video below. It means so much to me and my channel to know that we are connecting with people and that you guys enjoy watching my content. Quick little backstory. I lived in an apartment before moving in here. I had a patio. I kind of sort of tried to grow some stuff, but I didn't get any sun. And um, I kind of just drew, grew, <laughs> I kind of just grew a lot of vines that flowered and never produced anything. Um, so let's go ahead. I've got tons of pictures to show you guys over the last year. Um, so let's get started. So let's start with the plant I brought with me when I moved in. So when I first moved in, I brought this lemon tree with me. Uh, you can see it does have lemons, although it's looking a little sad. Um, this is at a friend's house. This is, this is not my house in the background currently, um, where it stayed for a couple months and its container got completely waterlogged. And because it got waterlogged, that plant died. So this is the first picture I have of the backyard space where I garden and where all my videos are filmed. You can see this pot here is the lemon tree that I tried to save. Um, and then the square bed next to it is a four by four bed first bed that I put in this garden and it has in it just two tomato plants. Um, oh, I have dates. Don't let me forget my, don't let me forget my dates. Uh, so the lemon tree I brought over, that was May 5th of 2021, which would have been about two months before I actually started our garden. So we're in May. July 2nd is when I started these two tomato plants. Um, and then July 8th, we added these two kiddie pools. So, <laughs> oh, look my Coke can. So July 8th, we added these two kiddie pools and then we went ahead and we filled them with zucchini, tomato, and that was it. Oh, excuse me, zucchini, watermelon, and lima beans is what I tried to grow initially. I have a super quick video to show you guys from this time. This would have been uh, July 13th. Um, here's a quick clip for you guys. All right, so here I put one watermelon, itty bitty watermelon. He's, he's right there. <laughs> one itty bitty watermelon and the two limas. That was all I did in here. And then over in the far corner over here, I put a watermelon in this front bed. By the 19th, we were finally seeing our first baby tomatoes, which is, we were super, super excited about that. August 7th last year, we decided we finally accepted the death of the lemon tree, and we took that container and started some poinsettia peppers. It was also around this time in August that we brought my cat Booger outside for the first time, let him sniff around and get used to being an outside cat. This is close to a full garden shot as I have. This is the end of August, August 29th. Um, you can see that the zucchini plants have absolutely grown wild, but you see there's no zucchini on it because I did not realize it was way too hot in August in Florida for zucchini to sprout or um, zucchini to set fruit. This was our first tomato haul from our garden. This was the end of September. So this is a full month after that picture you just saw of the garden. We're finally getting some baby tomatoes or possibly I finally remembered to take a picture. Um, also at the end of September, I had planted tons of marigolds and they had started to absolutely take over the garden. So I have picture after picture after picture, after picture, of marigolds. 
that were only supposed to grow about a foot or two tall that needed tomato cages because they were as tall as me. Here's a full garden shot. This was September 30th. Uh, the poinsettia peppers are still in that pot in the front. You see I have the aloe. That's another plant that came with me uh, from my patio. Um, you can see those really tall marigolds. You can see that really tall tomato. And I'm not sure what's in that other, the blue bed. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, mystery question. This picture was taken October 12th. And there was this red flower, this totally separate vine, just like grew up through my marigolds. I have no idea what it was, where it came from. I would love to know if any of you guys know what that is and you could tell me. Be super cool. Sweet. All right, so this picture is November 11th. This is our peppers growing. Um, it is also at this time that we planted Brussels sprouts. Um, here's a whole aerial shot for you guys. This photo is taken on the 7th. So you can see um, where the aloe has been moved. Um, there's lettuce in that small container. You can see the marigolds. Here's the peppers in the back. You can see the baby Brussels sprouts. So around the end of December, we harvested the rest of the poinsettia peppers. I do remember that it took forever for these peppers to freaking ripen. I'll move to the side again. Um, I remember it taking forever for these peppers to ripen. So here's all the ripened peppers. And then what I did is I made what I've known as pepper sauce. And it's just peppers and vinegar. You uh, boil the vinegar out of the peppers, stick them in a jar. It makes this like sweet, spicy, tangy pepper sauce. This is what it looks like when I made it. This is my pepper sauce now, so let me show you guys. Um, these are still the same peppers, and um, you can see that the, the vinegar has turned this deep, deep spicy color. I put this on rice, on tacos, I uh, put it with grits, all sorts of stuff. Oh god, it's, it's that spicy tang, it's just it's beautiful. So January the 8th is the first picture I have of us starting our chicken coop for our flock. This is, you can see the front of the garden in the picture. You can see how well the Brussels sprouts are doing, how most everything else got pulled out. And the purple bed in this picture is sugar snap peas. And then behind you can see the fencing is just starting for the coop. And you can see the green and white actual coop has already been put together. Um, this next shot is an aerial shot. This is February 15th of the garden. You can see now I have the sugar snap peas have sprouted crazy. The Brussels are going crazy in the back. Lettuce is still looking good, but there's a few additions. Um, there is a tree in the black bin. That is a lemon tree. And there are two more beds. One looks like it's still empty and the other one looks like it has dirt in it in the back, which were old boxes that my boyfriend was able to bring home from his job. Um, the lemon tree in this picture, also my boyfriend got from a client at his job, amazing. And then it's hard to see in this picture, but in the very far back and where the peppers were is now a mango tree, which actually we end up finding out is three mango trees that my boyfriend also got from his job. So we've been very, very blessed by my boyfriend's job in setting up this garden. Here's a better shot where you guys can see the two boxes, uh, more of the coop built in the background, and the three mango trees. And Boogie. Hmm. Alright, this next photo is a month later, exact same shot. Uh, you can see we now have the outline of the fence for the garden and it is chicken wired out. You can see how well the lemon tree is doing in the background, right? Can you see that? Are you seeing this? I saved that tree. Remember the last picture, how sad and scraggly it looked? How good it looks now? That was me. I saved it. And I was so proud because I killed my last lemon tree. And I'll tell you what, it's dying now. 
I have no idea why. I brought it back from death, I got all its leaves, it flowered, it dropped every single flower, refused to fruit for me, and now it's gone. We're going to try to figure that out. That's going to be coming up. I think the next thing we're going to do in the garden together is uh, test some soil, diagnose that lemon tree, and see if we can save it. Anyway, getting off topic. This aerial photo, this is March 14th. Um, you can see how big the Brussels are getting, how big the sugar snap peas are. You can see the lettuce is bolting. Um, and you can see the mango trees are struggling at this point. Mar uh, excuse me, April 4th. Uh, you can still see the Brussels sprouts. You can see the lemon tree in the background. You can see I've got tomatoes coming up in that main bed. And then the big new addition, that two by eight long bed in the back already has corn and some tomatoes in it. All right, and then this is April 19th. This is the addition to our coop. So we had already netted the whole thing and thought we were done and then had the chickens out there and realized we needed it bigger. We needed to be able to stand in there to get out there and clean it better. And um, we just, the chickens needed more room than what we had, had previously given them. This is also a, only like a few weeks, maybe a week or two after the chickens had been outside. And then we get into the end of April and I've got a bunch of pictures um, of like close-up stuff. Oh, Sasha, welcome back. But this is when I start filming. So this is where um, you've already seen a lot of this in video footage. And because I'm videoing, because I'm videoing, I'm not taking as many pictures. So I have my purple carrots. I have the flowers. I have the corn. I have squash. I have aloes still and marigolds still from last year have resurfaced. Um, I do have one beautiful aerial photo, so let me show you guys that. This is April 29th. Uh, you can see that the Brussels sprouts are still growing. I've trimmed them up to their tops. The lemon tree still looks good here. The marigolds have sprouted everywhere, um, volunteering all over my garden. Um, the corn is looking good. The tomato plants are looking good. The watermelon vine still looks healthy. That's in the blue bed. Everything looks gorgeous in this April photo. Um, so, <clears throat> I only have a couple photos after this. I have on May 6th, when I cooked up those purple carrots, they looked like this. Um, and oh my god, amazing. It was some Asian-inspired glaze recipe that was the best carrots I've ever had in my life. Um, if I find the recipe, I will link it below. Don't let me do that, though, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I will be very sad, though, if I can't because, oh my god, that recipe was so good. Um... I have May 20th, the watermelon that started to grow, but then its vine died, so it ended up being a watermelon for my chickens. I have um, a photo of me cooking up squash on May 21st. Uh, and then, oh, you guys, there's a video with this, but I'll, I'll show you guys this picture too with me with the Brussels sprouts. This was June 17th, where I had finally finally plucked the Brussels sprouts that I had planted in November. Seven months. Wow. Um, so like I said, this is the time I don't really have any more photos after this. I, it's all video because I started focusing on YouTube and wanting to connect with other gardeners once I realized there was a lot more to this than I thought there was going to be. And, um, and how much I was really enjoying doing it and how involved I was really getting in it. So I'll link that playlist for you guys with all the videos so you can see the garden through those months. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this transformation as much as I enjoyed going through it with you guys.
it's crazy to remember that we accomplished this in just a freaking year. Um, we talk about growing so much and wanting to do so much and it seems impossible to me until I remember that in a year we've done a full chicken coop, established a flock, um, great, been gathering our own eggs, growing our own food, cooking carrots and Brussels sprouts and tomatoes and squash from the garden um, and establish this whole beautiful garden space. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to do this again with you guys next year and see how much we're going to keep growing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time for, like I said before, yes, garden soil testing and trying to save my lemon tree. <laughs>